Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, The Ninth Cup, where all of my readings focus on your soul's destiny and everything you can do to embody your soul's purpose. This is a general reading for North Nodes in the signs of Taurus and Scorpio. So this is where the nodes are transiting right now in the cosmos. So you are it, Taurus, Scorpio. And it is, um, again, general, just take what resonates and leave the rest. So if you have your North Node in Taurus or Scorpio and your South Node in Taurus and Scor or Scorpio, excuse me, this reading is for you. It is not house specific, just the energies of Taurus, Scorpio, right? And the North Node in particular. Uh, for those of you who are current subscribers, thank you so much. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for sharing your energy with me. For those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Karen Michelle Yearwood. I am an intuitive guidance counselor and I help people like yourself along the ascension journey. So I follow Western astrology and I use the whole sign, um, I'm sorry, the whole house system for um, my readings and how I channel the energies. So um, we are gonna start with a few astrology cards. But before we do that, just a quick overview reminder for those of you who are still getting familiar with your natal charts and um, astrology in general, Western astrology. The North Node is about your soul's dharma, right? The work you're here to do. You've come into this um, human experience to do, um, to have a, have a certain mission, to do particular work, right? To have certain clients or, you know, kismet clients and soulmates. So there's oftentimes obstacles and challenges surrounding the North Node. It doesn't feel comfortable. It feels like it's not really who you are, but that is because, you know, you're here on Earth school to hopefully achieve that. Now, the South Node, contrary to what I just said, is where your comfort zone is. It's where your gifts and talents reside. So it's everything that you've mastered in past lives. OK, um, what else? I think that is all I have to do, all I have to say, excuse me, in terms of reviewing the North Node. Um, I wanted to say something about, oh yeah, so as far as transits, so the North Node is kind of, or the nodes, excuse me, are always retrograde. They go backwards. So the nodes recently transited out of Sag and Gemini, and now they're in your signs, uh, Taurus, Scorpio, okay? So, and they will be there for about 18 months. So again, it's not necessarily just your placement. It's kind of affecting the collective in general. All right, so that's what I wanted to say. All right, so here we go with the astrology cards. Uh, we have Pisces. We are currently in Pisces season as of the date I'm recording this. It's February 26th today. Some of you could have strong Pisces placements. It could be a Pisces sun maybe. Um, Mercury. All right, Mercury could be somehow um, tightly conjoined or um, tightly aspecting your nodes, okay? Mercury is the sign, I'm not the sign, excuse me. It, well, it rules Gemini and Virgo, air and earth signs, but it is the planet of communication, the intellect, travel, right? Transactions and the sixth house, the house of Virgo, one of the houses Mercury um, rules. All right, so some of you could have your nodes in the sixth and 12th houses, that's like me, right? North node in the 12th, my south node sits in the sixth. Um, you could have maybe Pisces in the six, which would make you a Capricorn rising, um, all different kinds of things here. But um, overall, in terms of energies, I think this is about you really mastering like a new way of seeing yourself and like positive self-talk, right? Not really seeing yourself, but a new way of living and kind of becoming this new person, like physically, because the sixth house is health and wellness, right? It's acts of service. It's literally work. Virgo is the sign of work, um, the sign of um, being a strategic planner, right? Kind of putting one foot in front of the other. But Pisces is more um, dreamy and manifesting and, um, you know, visualizing. So I think this is kind of twofold. It's really beautiful energy. I think many of you are um, putting the work to your manif manifesting desires. So if you want a new body, right, or a better body, I should say a healthier body, you are really doing, um, you know, positive affirmations, me uh, meditations, maybe even hypnosis work. Um, and you also are physically working out, right? Changing your diet. And Mercury, again, is transactional. So that could even be just like your workouts, your workout routines, maybe going to one location, coming back, or, you know, um, I'm getting like an energy of sprints. Like some of you could be running, like running a certain uh, time, like you put a certain time on the, on the clock and then you run for that amount of time or a certain distance. Just got that very specific message. Bottom of the deck is Aquarius. We just came out of Aquarius season, but Saturn sitting in Aquarius and Mercury, as of the date I'm recording this, is sitting in Aquarius as well. And pretty soon we'll have Mars and Venus transiting into the sign of Aquarius. So some of you could have some strong aqua placements as well. But aqua is a sign of the future, right? Advancement, also um, technological, technological advancements. 
maybe some of you are using tech in terms of you know in creating this new sense of self right this new way of living um, really kind of um, upgrading your lifestyle upgrading the tools you use that kind of thing now Taurus is the sign of work as well but it's more about like value like you know your possessions like really honoring and appreciating the things that you've earned um your money your assets your home life um it's ruled by venus right which is conjoined with mars at this time and scorpio the opposing energy here is ruled by traditionally ruled by mars modern uh modern days ruled by pluto but it's a deep energy it's a purifying transformative energy so some of you again literally could be transforming your lives in some physical way but it's because you've really work to manifest this, right? You kind of, um, you've done the other rituals and things that you do for you that want, uh, that you want to help bring about this new sense of self. I really like this, all right? So some of you could be like me, maybe you're like into, into divination arts, astrology, okay? So you're kind of using that in tandem with the work in the physical realm to just be healthier, to be more knowledgeable even. Mercury remembers intellect, maybe some of you are studying as, as well. Okay, now let's get some overall energies with the Keepers of the Light. Um, we have, yeah, here we go. Isis, magic manifesting. Your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality. Stay focused. And that's literally what I was channeling in a longer roundabout way. <laughs> I, in my natal chart, have uh, my Mercury in the sign of Pisces. So, and I'm a Taurus rising. So the nodes right now are hitting my first and seventh houses. So yeah, I'm manifesting as well, right along with many of you. Lady Nada, heart awakening. Awaken to acceptance and divine love. Give and receive in balance. Absolutely. Balancing out um, your node energy, your node energy. It's not about moving away from the self node. It's just using both of those energies in a very symmetrical and beautiful way. Very balanced. And Mother Mary, love and peace. Let go of the need to be right. Choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time. So some of you could be healing. Um, maybe a part of this transformation and deep healing and manifestation has to do with, you know, any kind of mother wounds, um, you becoming a mom yourself. Maybe some of you are prepping your bodies for pregnancy. That could be uh, possible as well. Yeah. Bottom of the deck is Renunos. I'm, I don't know if I'm saying that right, <laughs> but it's life force. Express your driving passion. Sensual and sexual powers are increased. Okay. So that's creativity, not necessarily just creating a, a physical child, but that could be creating a new project, a new, um, modality a new way that you do your work this is really really beautiful all right so taurus scorpio let's get your reading done all right i'm going to use the um true heart tarot deck by rachel true Let me get a good shuffle in <clears throat> my website's linked below for personal readings i do include a tarot spread as well as an r scan where i can look at your chakras and see what's balanced what isn't um it comes with a full report that uh, aura scan and as far as your reading I do it live and I can look at your natal solar return or progress chart oh, I didn't say the three card spread so let's kind of do um, a three card spread on current reality any challenges and then possible outcome solutions all right so current reality is the nine of Pentacles sitting in your power um, you know and this is actually um, this is earth energy nine of pentacles it's kind of a lower octave of the of the queen of pentacles as you can see this beautiful woman here dressed in white and that's you know pure purifying color white is um and it's like really embodying who you are it's like when you know when i saw this six house here it's like i'm just getting an energy of like really like being comfortable in the skin that you're in um now pentacles energy is money you know and that's you know taurian energy right earth energy really valuing yourself but maybe even spending your resources more wisely investing in yourself you know whereas maybe you would you know spend a certain amount of money maybe on um let's say clothes or going out maybe you're spending that money now on resources that are going to enhance your knowledge or enhance your body right which is like buying better quality food um maybe like memberships that you know where you can um memberships that are like either physical or like some type of group i just channeled like a group like a membership where you're a part of a group i just got that intuitively for not the meaning of the nine of pentacles but that could be something you're uh, that's happening right now especially with the aquarius energy at the bottom of the astrology deck so this is beautiful in terms of your current reality sitting in your power manifesting um maintaining your value right calling in more value calling in more abundance 
yeah a challenging position is the five of swords so any type of like hollow victories feeling insecure feeling you know not really worthy feelings of you know imposter syndrome might be creeping up at this time you know and i think the nodes transiting your natal nodes would do that you know and for those of you that um have your nodes like in a, in a um they're in houses that are about self like for example let's say like fourth and tenth houses i think or any of those angular houses so first and seventh or fourth and tenth i think those would trigger a little bit more in terms of like being abandoned or like your value or your power that kind of thing now it's a five so it, in fives are change so there's change coming in but again i'm pulling this in the challenge position so this is you know um yeah maybe feeling like people aren't by your side people aren't supporting you and yeah so that could be coming up right now really challenging and tugging on this current reality of the nine of pentacles maybe some of you are feeling like you know because the nine is a singular it's a singular energy right like it's the inspiration for my channel actually what the nine of cups is because it's about self but with that it's you're by yourself right you're not necessarily in partnership or in community with others or you don't feel like you are so i think source is here to say that what you're really manifesting is also better connections not just a better body or a better routine or a better modality for your work it's more so like opening up to receive support the connections and you know just a, a beautiful you know chemistry with others that are around you um in the near future six of wands beautiful victory it's leo energy but it's rewards being awarded being recognized you know this is in your near future slash you know outcome position um position excuse me so you know what's coming in for you is being seen in the way that you want to be seen um being recognized for your work or your progress maybe people are just kind of noticing that you're putting in the work for yourself um you know not really looking for handouts but also opening up more and more and being more comfortable with receiving um let's get some clarification for this five of swords actually at the bottom of the deck um was actually the five of wands before i started shuffling which is another five so let's see queen of discs yeah queen of pentacles remember i said the nine of pentacles is a lower octave and here it is so it's like many of you are moving towards this energy of being more independent and resourceful but you're like am i you know am i knowledgeable enough do i know enough do i have enough um, are people going to see me as someone that's credible? Oh my goodness, there she is, Nine of Cups. And I just said the inspiration for the name of my channel is the Nine of Cups energy. And here she is, another beautiful divine feminine energy. But it's not necessarily um, female, just is the energy, right? And there's a lot of feminine energy here. We even had um, the Mother Mary card, right? Mother healing. So there's a lot of feminine energy here. Again, doesn't have to be female, but um, that's part of what's, uh, at the core of your node nodal um, energies right now Taurus is feminine energy you know it's ruled by Venus so but again the nine of cups sitting here clarifying this five of swords with the queen of pentacles it's like you know the universe is saying oh I have this opportunity for you I have this you know connection like here we here you go like you know it's being kind of handed to you but you're like oh my gosh like am I really worth it or is there somebody else better or you know you might be kind of second guessing it um, stop that. <laughs> I think so much really wants you to stop that because you have success and victory in your outcome position. So one more clarification card. Yeah, the fool. So it's a new beginning, a new journey coming in for you. You need to have faith. You're not going to know all the answers. You're going to have to put one foot in front of the other and really trust and believe in yourself. Lean into your spirit guide, your higher power, angels, ancestors, beautiful energy at the bottom of the deck is the star card, the card of Aquarius. And you have Aquarius at the bottom of the astrology deck. I've actually been getting same energies at the bottom of my decks recently. Like completely different tarot decks and oracles. I've been getting the same energies, but it's at the bottom of the deck, which is really interesting. So like I said, Aquarius is a sign of the future, expansion, community, technological advances. Um, Uranus, the modern ruler of Aquarius, is sitting in the sign of Taurus right now. So the nodes, the north node is in Taurus. And so is Uranus. And it's squaring saturn in aquarius so with that you know and this could be where this like imposter syndrome and you know not knowing enough and maybe not feeling worthy could be coming up because the saturn energy is really forcing you to um you know up level and um, it's a limiting restricting energy but i think it's doing that in terms of slopping helping you slough off what is not needed 
um, helping you kind of release any type of baggage. So, you know, in the process, maybe that could, you know, trigger some feelings of not feeling good enough, you know, not having enough. But I think it's because Saturn wants you to release, you know, Saturn doesn't want you to be kind of constricted, right? It's a constricting energy, but it's also a maturing energy, the energy of um, authority, right? And reputation, but it comes through like challenges and having to let things go. All right. So there's that, you know, this could be manifesting in many different ways. It's a general reading. Um, yeah. Oh, there you go. Bottom of the deck, Aquarius. All right. Let's get your uh, life changing oracles to wrap up. Forgiveness. This could be forgiveness of self. Forgiving those that maybe um, that have not supported you or didn't show up for you maybe when they said they would. Because there's still single energy here. You know, the, the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, even the Queen of Pentacles and the Fool even. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of like this energy of going on a journey alone. Okay. So maybe you need to forgive people for abandoning you and know that on your journey there are more people that will meet you where you are motivation yeah finding that motivation to keep going and self-care beautiful because the sixth house was in your astrology cards so and that is you know a card of wellness and you know the body and many of you are leaning into your self-care bottom of the deck is grief work Okay, so grief, so releasing, like what I said with the Saturnian energy, also your south node, or I'm sorry, the south node sitting in Scorpio, that is, you know, the sign of endings, the sign of evolution. So with grief, that doesn't necessarily have to mean physical death, it's just letting go of things, ending things and starting fresh, full energy. All right, so that's what I have for you here, Taurus, Scorpio. If something here resonates, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if this is your kind of thing. I do hope to see you guys in the next reading and be sure to thrive. Bye.